So, uh, a little bit uh, more cheerful, if you like, video than one of the last ones we did, where I had to say, oh dear, we've had a disaster. And thank you for all the nice comments about Homewood. Um, it has gone, um, it's the only place it could live, and so it's been used as a storage area now. However, what it's given me the motivation to do is to carry on with a layout actually that nobody's seen yet, that I've been quietly uh, abandoning and have realised I've got all the bits to put together quite quickly. So some of you may have seen a video months and months and months ago where I started making layouts out of this. Now these were great big wedges and chunks of corrugated cardboard from a neighbour's kitchen that was delivered, faced with corrugated cardboard. Very light, unbelievably robust. Go back and find the video, I expect Douglas will put a link in. And what I did was I built this baseboard and back scenes. Now this is all out of cardboard and without wishing to dump everything off it, it's ridiculously light. So, I've got a very robust, very light baseboard for a nice compact little shunting layout. More importantly, it fits up the top of that cupboard there so it'll be out of the way and I can turn it round so it doesn't fade in the sun. It's been here in the heat and the track's not warped so I'm guessing it's fine. So what have I done? Well we've got a nice traditional four and a bit foot by about nine inches shunting layout. It's all old Lima track and Lima manual points. It's a shunting layout, I've got to reach there. So there's really no point in having electric points. The factories are what got this going. I bought these on eBay for about five or six quid complete. They needed a little bit of tarting up. Um, I added a, a building I'd already got and that filled that lovely scene. Like a lot of these things, you, if you leave something long enough, I was in a, a wonderful model shop in Woodchurch in Kent called uh, the, model, the Model Shop. And she had these wonderful Pico industrial back scenes. So instead of this being yet another little country station with trees and everything, this is an industrial town. We've got our mill or our factory that's got two sidings. We've got a little good shed. Now that came off Homewood, that came off Homewood, that came off Homewood. So this has just been able to be built really quickly. The ballast mat I got for 50p from a car boot. It's an old Hornby item and it's worked great. It's stuck down, the track's gone on and for an industrial scene it looks good. There's a little station in there and I'm gonna do a video on how I'm gonna build these various platforms. That's a little scratch built station I made some years ago. So again, this is all just bringing bits out that I've got in the box ready to go. And this is the wonderful, excellent Hornby shunter runs really slow again there's a review online of it and effectively that the layout's been built around that and i can also use a couple of my really good slow running steam 040 steam locos so it's really just a nice big you can do a bit of a pan in the factory and everything simple shunting layout with lots of operating potential because that's got to have coal this is goods in and out there's a good shed there there's another coal merchants there's passenger trains if i run mixed passenger um, and freight and different freight trains. I can have a lot of fun with this. It's long enough to get four or five wagons in so I can run a whole train in and shunt it. And it's only going to take me, I guess, about a couple more hours to build. The whole baseboard, as opposed to the huge amount of work that went into Roselands Hill, only took me half an hour. So I think the whole thing will be built in about three or four hours. It will literally have cost me 10 pound to build, something like that, because the points, a little bit more, the points are about two pound 50 each. So I suppose there's 10 pounds worth of track there. There might be 10 pounds worth of building scratch built. So the whole thing, probably about 20 pound, very lightweight, very robust. Um, as always, let me know what you think. And when I've got it built a bit more, we'll do some videos on how I built it. And I'll show you the operating potential. So a little bit of good news, a layout that's on, on the way. Um, as always, please like, comment or subscribe. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.